Yoder, and we are playing 38 Salmon that we caught today. Um, we're at the Kenai River, and this is how uh, we fillet our salmon. And this uh, knowledge has come from watching other people. What, and then we just adopt what we like about what they do and discard what we don't like. So, I'm sure, the way you do it will be different, but this is what we do. We just. Uh, on one table, away from our fillet table, we, we cut the salmon. So we cut the bellies off. Some people do this down by the river. Uh, we like to do it up here where it's nice and clean. Less bacteria, maybe. Cut the bellies out. Put the bellies to the side. Um, we're going to clean these and then smoke these up to be nice smoke um, belly meat, which is really oily and rich and really good. So now we've got the salmon. Nothing hard about it. Exactly what you would expect. Pull the guts out. Clean it up. Play table. And a, salmon and a piece of cardboard. Um, some people use artificial turf, which is what I'd like to use, but I just didn't buy any yet. The cardboard stays put, and the fish stays put on the cardboard, and you don't dull your knife as fast. Key to fillet is a sharp, sharp knife. You want to come in uh, on the salmon right behind the head. Not too close, or it's really hard going. You make a turn, and since you cut the belly off, you don't have to fight these fins. Fins are very, very hard cartilage, hard for your knife to cut through. You don't have to worry about that anymore because you already got rid of that. This, as you can see, very sharp knife. Boom. Got a fillet. And then, because we're frugal, and I was raised Mennonite, Scrape the extra meat with a spoon, tablespoon, and you take the extra meat and just set it in a bag. And I'll flip the fish over and do the same thing. Come in behind the head and just follow back by a sawing motion, sharp knife. here is a very very clean carcass for the most part some meat on the head some people make fish head soup we're not doing it All right. clean is key we have before we start out we use bleach we wash everything down with bleach so if there was bacteria growing it's dead and we stay clean because we want to eat this stuff and not die. And then sharp is key, so before I take So as I was saying, you want a sharp knife to cut the rib cages off. When you're starting with the tip of your knife, you always want to Keep the tip of your knife really sharp. Cut in with the tip of your knife and you want to follow the back of the ribs. The ribs kind of curve down and then up. And you just want to follow that with your fillet knife. Peel them off. Voila. Then you don't have to eat all that. And it's just minimal, minimal amount of meat you're wasting. So don't obsess over that. And here we have a nice fillet. 
you're going to stake that up, or actually just cut it up so it's hand friendly. Because this thing doesn't fit in your frying pan very easily. And who wants to go and get a knife and, you know, mess with that in the kitchen? So we'll come, we'll do that soon. Notice I did both rib cages um, at the same time before I cut them up. When you cut, it kind of dulls your knife a little bit. And you need a very sharp knife to do the, the ribs. All right. We have a little box here. With a trash bag. And just throw the the salmon in here, all cleaned up, ready for packaging. Again, clean is key. Always rinse this off before I start another fish. Started 5 30.